Hey guys, welcome back. This is JJ. So today I have another 1 to 18 scale model to show you. This is a Pagani Huayra Roadster. It is made by AutoArt. So unlike the original release of AutoArt models, um, in which they were all made in die cast and they all came with a certificate of authenticity. So this newer release model, um, they are all made in composite and they also uh, don't come with any sort of certification. But nevertheless, this model specifically is still a very, very nice model. It is very detailed. I actually have shown a few photos of this Pagani Huayra roadster together with my Koenigsegg Regera. Um, I think last year or just over a year ago um, through my um, photo post. But I haven't actually um, done a full review of this uh, specific model. So I thought, why not share um, my collection and also to show you guys um, what you should expect um, when purchasing this specific model through AutoArt. I purchased this model um, about a couple of years ago. I bought it directly through AutoArt Germany. And back then I paid about 280 to 285 pound, British pound. And that's including the import tax and import duty. So today, if you want to buy one of this model um, from AutoArt or even from eBay, if you're looking at buying a brand new or as new conditioned um, model, um, you will be looking at around 300 to 320 pound. Um, I've seen a couple of them which goes for um, over 350 pound. So I don't know if, you know, if the car's value has really gone up that much, but I would say to be fair, between 300 and 320 is more genuine, but it is definitely worth it. Um, I know you guys probably would criticize the latest auto art model being made in composite rather than the original die cast and it also doesn't come with the certification but you know regardless whether the the cars are made in die cast or with the certification this model is still very very um worthy to get and i will show you exactly why in just a second when i start to go through the details of the model it is definitely one of my favorite um pagani uh, model in my collection and I would definitely uh, recommend this model anytime. So this model is available in three colors that I've seen online. Um, I like the blue carbon fiber um, color the most. You also uh, will be able to find it in a lime green closer to yellow color similar to my um, cutting matte color but maybe a little bit lighter and closer to the yellow color and then an other version which is um, in red and I think the red version comes with um, gold color um, rims they all look very nice but it's just that my personal preference I like it in blue especially you know with the carbon fiber pattern on it I think it looks really really good so I'll let you guys take a quick look around um, of this model car and then I will stop the spinning top and I will pick up the car to walk you through everything that um, you would like to see on the model car. Okay, so let's pick up the model and Let's start from the underside, shall we? So you can see the entire under chassis. It has 
carbon fiber pattern on it. So if I show you, let me point it out. The front splitter that is all wrapped in a very smooth carbon fiber decal. And then from this point onwards, all the way to here. So from here to there, that is carbon fiber molded pattern. And then further at the back, pretty much the second half or from after the rear axle all the way to the back, the entire diffuser is wrapped in carbon fiber decal as well. As you can see, it's very shiny. And then the carbon fiber molded pattern is more of a matte finish. And then the front splitter again is shiny again. So there's not a lot of underside details on this model. I'm not sure, you know, whether it is 100% accurate to the real car because I haven't seen the underside of a um, Pagani Huayra Roadster before but you can see there is a Auto Art trademark logo it is a 1 to 18 scale Pagani Huayra it doesn't say Roadster but it is a Roadster version and it's crafted in China and then you see a few of the Naga duct and then the diffuser right in the back which is enormous and you also get to see the suspension um, arm in a gold color and you could also see the blue brake calipers as well the front tire has got really nice track marks same as the rear tire and the rear tires are quite a bit thicker and wider than the front tires you might notice there are four holes on the chassis so these four holes are for the screws to fasten the model onto the base which is a styrofoam base which form part of this uh, protective box inside the usual blue and black um, cardboard cover by Otto Art. Um, I have the box in another room um, in the storage cupboard so it is pretty much the same as the Koenigsegg Regera. So if you want to see what the box looks like, um, click back to my um, AutoArt Koenigsegg Regera unboxing video and you will see the, the outside packaging as well as the styrofoam box. They look pretty similar, just the, the name and the, uh, the model um, is different printed on the box. So that is the underside. <clears throat> so looking at the front, you can see the carbon fiber, it goes everywhere. Let me zoom in just a little bit more for you guys to see the pattern. It's pretty cool, right? Which is the main reason why I like this model in this specific color is mainly to get the carbon fiber pattern on the Huayra Roaster. So looking at the front, 
the lower splitter is wrapped in carbon fiber decal and then you can see the daytime running light which is pretty nice as well fairly detailed and then the front mesh is not the traditional honeycomb mesh so this has got the rectangular pattern lined in a 90 degree position which looks pretty good so that covered the entire front inlet and I think you can just about to see the inside with the front radiator in a silver color and then there is a small bump at the bottom of the lower bumper I'm sure that is something to do with um, aerodynamic it is not quite a canard it doesn't stick out as much but it is definitely raised the whole front bumper is done really nicely And then coming up to the bonnet area, you can see the carbon fiber pattern inside the light cluster as well, which is really cool. One thing I've noticed after possibly six months um, since I owned this model, I realized there's something different on the um, headlight. So I think this is a um, slight manufacturing error. If you see the, the black dot or the lens, this is on the outside and on the other side the black dot is in the inside. So when I refer to the photo on the website of other uh, Pagani Huayra Roaster by AutoArt, the, the black dot it should be in the inside. Actually, I just had a quick look at the photo in the background. Um, the black dots, it should be on the outside um, lamp cluster. So that side is correct with the silver in the inside, black on the outside. And this one, that black lens should be on the out. So those two should be swapped. But nevertheless, it's quite hard to notice. So going back to the lamp cluster, you can see the carbon fiber pattern. It's all there. It's done really, really nicely. The detail of the hat lamp is also very, very nice. And then you have your air brake, which is functional, but I won't recommend you to play with it too much because this part is made of plastic and I don't know how strong the hinges are, so it's better to leave them alone. And then in the middle, you can see the Pagani logo right in the middle. I think that is a photo edge logo, which is very detailed. And the logo is in the middle of the carbon fiber panel which is done really nicely leading up to the front windscreen. So you can see that full carbon fiber decal that wrapped around the windscreen. The windscreen wiper is quite nice as well. It is 
molded in plastic but it has all the details on it now looking at the side mirror the carbon fiber pattern is pretty amazing on this model and just look at the shape of the side mirror it's like a leaf and when you get this model brand new from AutoArt the two side mirror they are separate from the model car because they don't want to break it during transportation because they are very very thin and quite fragile so you have to open them in a sealed plastic bag and then you just need to fit them in yourself which is quite easily done I'll just show you so just pull it out to directly up so the model came like that and then you just need to prop this in again the, look at the pattern this is so cool and the shape of the side mirror is so nice it's quite hard to hold it it's literally it's like a leaf super cool so let me fit this back just like that you just have to be really gentle not to break it um, I can't remember exactly um, inside the box whether the model comes with a, a spare set of the side mirror um, the Kernings at Regera um, definitely they gave you an extra set but I can't remember if the Huayra Roaster have a spare set I can't remember but if in case you if you break them you can buy them from um, AutoArt they do sell them um, as spare parts So the side mirror is very shiny as well. You can see the reflection of the carbon fiber body. And then next to the wing mirror, there is a outlet which has a separate piece in a polished silver color which is very nice and you can see there is a mesh as well and it is the same on the other side and then this is just a strap that goes underneath the, the door and is to fasten the front cam into position now moving to the side you can see there is a Pagani logo right here next to the wheel which is a separate piece and can't really see through the gap I don't think there is a, a mesh in there uh, what you can see I think it's just the carbon fiber pattern inside and 
and then the the door opening mechanism there is a small silver pin which is the same on the other side of course and then you have another strap for the rear clamshell and then there is an air inlet to cool the engine and it has mesh inside as well and then in front of the rear wheel you will see the Hirosho Pagani signature oh, trying to get it to focus so that is a photo edge sticker it's very very detailed one thing that you need to bear in mind is when you clean your model car wherever you have the photo edge sticker or stuff like this one the photo edge signature these parts are very very fine and some of the edges are very very sharp and if you run a microfiber cloth the cloth might get stuck in the sharp edges and as you move the cloth you might accidentally pull out part of the sticker so make sure you try and avoid polishing the area with photo edge stickers just something to be aware of and then on the underside you can see the standard carbon fiber pattern and there is another air inlet duct right there and it also has a mesh inside which is very very cool so as you can see on this side there's a mesh inside as well so looking at the front wheel looking at the tire it is marked as P0 Corsa I think the writing is really small and then you can see the Pirelli logo as well the wheel itself is done very very nicely it just doesn't have the valve cap but it still looks pretty good the wheel itself is very very nice and right in the middle of the center cap there is a print which I believe is saying Pagani very detailed same as the rear wheel and if you look through the the wheel or the rim you can see there is a drilled brake disc rotor it's very detailed and also a big blue brake caliper and you can see it's a six pot caliper you can see the three little circle on the brake caliper itself so three on each side that's six and on the rear wheel you can see the the tire marking again Pirelli P0 Corsa on the tire wall 
and the wheel itself is done really nicely. So the front one, it has a very small offset compared to the rear one. It has a more negative offset, which is really, really cool. And then if you look through the rims, you will see the, the drilled brake disc rotor. And you can see the blue caliper. And this one is four pot because there's only two circular shape on the on the main brake caliper where you could see the white Pagani logo. So two on each side, that's a four pot. And then the smaller blue brake caliper on top is for the handbrake. And just like the front wheel in the middle of the rim, you have the locking nuts. That's also have the Pagani logo right in the middle. And it is the same on the other side. And you can see it right through to the suspension system, both front and rear. This side in front of the rear engine um, air duct inlet, you also see this um, indentation so this would be the fuel filler cap cover it's only on one side you don't get that on the left hand side so it's just here so front windscreen pretty nice it is surrounded with a black rim and you can see the carbon fiber pattern it goes all the way around to the engine area. So all of those are carbon fiber pattern. And then this has a side window as well. And obviously you have the clear roof. And then there is a rear view window that you could see straight through to the cabin and you can see there's a small clear window to see the part of the engine the amg engine and you can see straight away there's an amg logo and in the middle of the carbon fiber pattern it said v12 with the v at the top and 12 at the bottom and then there's some air vent and they're all with the mesh. It looks really good. And then coming to the rear clamshell, you can see there are two separate parts so that's the rear brake i don't believe um you'll be able to <clears throat> excuse me you'll be able to lift the rear air brake like the front ones i don't think you could do that to the rear although i've seen some photo um on the auto art website they somehow managed to lift this rear air brake a little bit not by much but it looks like they do come up a tiny little bit rather than sitting flush like this one and they do lift like a very small amount it's pretty much like that on the rear but i don't want to attempt to lift them and end up breaking them off because when I looked on the underside it doesn't look like um, they have hinges so moving on comparing the 
uh, Pagani Huayra Rosta to a normal Huayra. The Rosta has this very small ducktail on each side of the end, whereas the normal um, Huayra is pretty much flat and then it comes down. This one has a bit of a ducktail, which is pretty cool. It, it looks more aerodynamic. And then in between the rear air brake, the very iconic Pagani Sonda or Pagani Huayra exhaust, the quad exhaust. And you can see the wheel arches are slightly sticking out. This look really good. Now the brake light, they are fairly detailed. Just take a look at them. The brake light cluster is also wrapped in full carbon fiber. Done really, really nicely. And then the quad exhaust tips, I believe they are metal parts. Mine, you can see there is a slight blue tint on them. I don't know if it's because of the color of the model that I'm seeing the blue, but it looks pretty cool. And then the rear bumper, the entire bumper is wrapped in full carbon fiber decal. So very, very nice, very detailed. You can see the carbon fiber pattern And then you can see there are two meshes that you could see right through to the engine. And then right underneath the exhaust, you can see the silver Pagani logo. And then the rear diffuser is enormous and there is a red fog lamp in the middle which is a separate part again it is very very detailed as well pretty impressive and on the right hand side let me try and catch it at a better angle it's quite hard to see but it has the Huayra Roaster photo etched sticker. So as you can see, there's a lot of sharp edges. So if you run your microfiber cloth or any cleaning cloth across, it might catch the, the fabric and then you might accidentally pull out part of the sticker. So be very, very careful because once the sticker of the um, Huayra Roaster or the Hiroshi Pagani sticker is damaged, then you pretty much lose some of the value of the model car. So it is best to keep them in the best condition. Okay. So that's the exterior of the Huayra Roaster. So now I will show you with the panels open 